Optimizing your form buttons might seem pointless, but it's the final step between the user and your form submission. So here are seven steps to help your buttons perform as best they can. Number one, make the text specific. One thing we learned from our 2014 conversion report was that more specific button text showed a correlation with higher conversion rates. So get away from using text such as send or submit, and instead try using something more specific like send registration or register now. Number two, use a good button width. Our rule of thumb is to make your button about one third the width of your form. This gives the bottom of your form a nice visual balance and follows the rule of thirds for composition. If you've made your form short and narrow, then you can break this rule and use a button width that spans the width of your fields. Number three, go with all caps. To maintain visual balance inside your button, use all caps for your button text. This creates balance from left to right and also ensures even letter height by eliminating ascenders and descenders in your text. Number four, make it pop. Use a good contrasting button color that matches your brand. Replicate your brand's color if you can, but for everyone's sake, avoid using bright neon colors or text color other than white. Occasionally, a lighter version of your background color can look good as text, but just be careful. Remember, the legibility of your form button is the main goal here. Number five, use subtle movement. A bit of movement or color change on hover gives the indication that this is a button I can click. Avoid elaborate transformations as they'll only distract users from the end goal of clicking. We suggest subtle color changes or slight movements for buttons. Number six, don't use an image. Try to avoid using images as button backgrounds. We only see this occasionally, but in general it's not a best practice for the web. It also creates multiple steps to update button CSS and makes hover states a bit more difficult. Virtually any effect you want to accomplish can be done with modern CSS. Number seven, don't forget about mobile users. We've all experienced how difficult it can be to select something on a mobile device. With CSS, you can change your button based on the screen size. This will let you expand your button to full width on mobile devices to make clicking even easier for users. Now that you have these tips, go optimize so that everyone wants to push your buttons.